of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. October 22nd, 1962. Cold War superpowers reached the brink of nuclear war during the Cuban Missile Crisis. President John F. Kennedy announces an air and naval blockade of Cuba after Soviet missile bases are discovered on the island. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide a nuclear strike capability against the Western Hemisphere. The crisis ends when Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev agrees to remove the missiles while Kennedy pledges the U.S. won't invade Cuba. 1979, the United States allows the deposed Shah of Iran to travel to New York for medical treatment. Weeks later, a mob seizes the U.S. Embassy in Iran's capital, Tehran, taking dozens of Americans hostage for 444 days. 1931, federal agents gun down Charles Pretty Boy Floyd, the Great Depression-era bank robber at a farm in East Liverpool, Ohio. 2002, a bus driver shot to death in Maryland is the final victim in the Washington, D.C. area sniper case. Days later, John Muhammad and Lee Malvo are caught in connection with the string of deadly shootings. And 1973. Pablo Casals, the Spanish-born cellist, conductor, and composer, dies in Puerto Rico. He was 96. Today in History, October 22nd. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.